Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. Behind me I have a piece of a covered Back to Eden garden that um, wasn't covered the right way when it initially was established and a lot of weeds have come from underneath which is the worst thing that can happen in a um, non no dig or Back to Eden garden. And I have some pigs that love to dig. I just fenced this in and I want to get those pigs to dig through this a little bit for me and I think it's quite fun to watch that so let's do that together. There have been a lot of reactions on my last videos about garden beds and uh, wood chips and gardening and also a lot of misunderstanding you know it's hard to put um, enough information in a in one short video clip but uh, I will have to respond to that over many videos but um, we're not against covering with wood chips in any way that's not at all what I said in the last video um, in fact here you see one of our gardens where we covered it with raw wood chips on top and um, the reason why we have done that is because underneath we covered with about a foot deep of old grass, silage, hay kind of stuff but um, we have done this before and it worked well it killed pretty much most of the weeds but this time we did it at a different time of year and we did it in the fall so it laid over the winter and that didn't kill the roots last time we did it in the spring and it heated up and I think it somehow burned the weeds but you see underneath here it is just this absolutely fantastic, gorgeous compost. This place you wouldn't have to, to water anymore in our climate. Uh, vegetables would just go nuts here. And here you see I'm now at the uh, bottom where the, the original soil is. And I can just stick my finger straight in there. It's just amazing stuff. And on this, you can now always add new fresh wood chips. So it um, really can... Um, break down because you already have this compost layer anyways this is not what this video is about you see this pain here it took over last season and I was still working last season a town shop I couldn't couldn't take care of this and, and you know with this garden is amazing once you've killed the weeds underneath that's the key um, the seeds blowing in from the sides and stuff that's not the issue but but the from the sides and from underneath that's what you really have to try to cut out. But this was taken over by weeds and we've had the pigs in some of the videos in the fall, you guys have seen those. Um, the pigs were over there and, and f cleared a piece of land that was also covered with one foot of raw wood chips originally that had composted by them. Um, you know, this is the same kind of land here and I just want to bring them over here and have them um, dig this through for me. So let's see if that works. Okay, so I have some food scraps here. We're gonna go over to the pigs now. And then I would like them, and this is my theory, to walk after me into this little patch that I fenced in. And um, I hope it works. Let's go. Now they are here, I didn't want to dump the rest of the food scraps here because there's some pepperoni here. I don't want the pigs eating pork. But um, they got a few food scraps, but they should start digging very soon. So as you guys remember, the piggies in the greenhouse, the hybrid pigs, 
they were not at all wanting to dig much. But these guys, old heritage breed, they used to crossbreed with wild boar when they would go freely in the forests in the winter time. And um, once they have inspected this area, they're gonna start digging like crazy here. Now this is some wool from our sheep, when we used to have sheep. Uh, my mom put it down there, she wanted to check if uh, the slugs wouldn't go over that. And I don't know if they did or not, but now it's kind of just laying there, I gotta get rid of it. Actually I'm right now working on getting something to border our garden with. That's the biggest challenge for me, to find good borders for the garden, cheap, affordable. You guys can see like the first green of the year and the pigs are going for it right away. They just want grass and greens. is already quite torn up but they haven't gone deep yet and of course they won't they will only go as far as they need to to get goodies worms insects but um, yeah they are very very active hey hey there hey, you're supposed to be a little busy here now do you know that yeah. You know, guys, what I would like to do right now is would be just have a drone and go straight up and show you the garden area and the farm and this little piece of land here where they're digging right now, just to put it into perspective. In fact, that is something um, that a whole bunch of you guys have told me that I should get a drone. And you won't believe how many emails uh, we receive from people saying we should get a better camera and um, all of that. And you know, we would love to, but all that equipment just cost an awful lot of money. Um, but I've had the thought um, with a drone to see if we can do a crowdfunding for that because it would really really enhance the videos, give you guys a perspective, where's the lake, how does the peninsula look, uh, where's the garden, where are the fields where the chicken tractors are going to be. By the way, I'm going to put gonna put those out on the field this week. But, um, you know, I, I just wanted to ask you guys, what do you think? What do you think about the idea of a crowdfunding? I've never done something like that. It's, it's a bit of a sensitive topic, I guess, sometimes. But, um, you know, this equipment costs a lot of money, but I feel, you know, you could, there are, there are drones for $1,500, there are drones for $400, but, and you know, if you have, I have uh, close to 10,000 clicks on a video on average, maybe, that I put out, and um, if, you know, 500 people gave $1, then, you're almost up, you know, there are some fees, of obviously, that those crowdfund crowdfunding sites take. A lot of people accomplish more things, and I just wanted to hear from you guys um, if there is support for that, a willingness for that. Um, because we have been thinking about this and considering to, to just do it and see if it works or not. I wanted to hear from you guys, so feel free to let us know in the comments what you think about that. And... Um, yeah, we'll take that a bit into consideration. At the end, we'll have to make our own decision. Uh, it's our channel, but um, you guys are the ones who are watching it and making it work. So, thanks for that, and just let us know. See what this pig is doing here? Absolutely incredible. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but when these pigs are digging, 
you hear the roots tear that they're digging through, and then the pigs are eating them. Look at this, for example, right here. The pig, the pig is eating this right now. It's eating the whole time as it digs, <laughs> throwing dirt on me here. But um, I just love it. Here you guys can see it really well. Um, you have the layer of wood chips that we put on top. Then in between there, this dark black stuff is the silage and grass that has just uh, turned into topsoil already. And then here is the original soil. And as time will go now, all yeah, nature will just take care of this itself. And um, you know, you can speed up these kind of processes. This is very hard. This is excavators and machines used to drive here when we build um, our sewage system and the houses here. And this is very, very much packed and hard. And you could speed up this process by broad forking it. Otherwise, nature will do it. It'll just take longer. Look at these guys just having a blast. Just absolutely having fun. I really want to put these guys to work as much as I can. I have several garden areas where I want them to go through. This one, I just want them to have, for pigs, a lighter footprint, meaning I'm going to put them on here during daytime, put them back in the stable at nighttime. By that, I hope that they won't um, just dig too deep, but really just get from the layer, pretty much, the, the, the cover, um, get the roots and stuff out that I can just pick them up. Um, I might put some chickens on here after to kind of smoothen it out again, let them do the work for me, add some manure to it. But then I have lots of other garden areas where I want to use them. I eventually want to use them um, on the deep bedding. And then when they have done all that work, then they can go on their pasture um, somewhere um, in the forest. You see that there are a lot of projects that are coming up. I will have to build some more chicken tractors um, this year. Um, I will have to um, get the existing garden areas ready and make garden beds. Um, this week, some of the younger chickens, they will go out in the chicken tractors and I will put them on a hay field so they can fertilize it for later this year. So there are a lot of things going on. We still have to make a lot of firewood. Some of you guys wanted to see that. We will continue the wood kiln. We have a lot of projects. I hope to capture as much as I can on camera. Hope you guys appreciate that. So thanks for watching. I will put these pigs back in tonight when I do my chores. Now I have to continue to do some other work. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.